A very good evening to you, a very good afternoon or morning, wherever you are in the world. We're here in Changdao, China, for the latest TechBall World Series event. We return to the scene of last year's magnificent tournament here for another chance in China after its debut in 2023. $30,000 in prize money up for grabs in the three finals taking place today. We'll have the live action for you throughout the rest of the evening. This city of 7 million people has been enjoying the festivities for three days that has led to these finals. As you can see, the flag of Thailand is dominant with five of the six finalists. The odd one out coming up in our first final, the women's doubles when Hungary will be represented. Well, the Chinese have become fully involved in this event that has been held in the Jinshatan beer city in the Hongdao area of Qingdao. It's approximately halfway between Beijing and Shanghai on the Yellow Sea coast, for those of you unfamiliar with where we are. And this is the route to the final. And uh, as you can see, two Thai teams in the semi-final, but finally a victory for one of the rare Euro European teams in this event over the Thai number three seeds which means that Gabriela Cotta and Christina Atch, who've had such a good record of late, the top seeds here taking on the number two seeds, but surely the ever brilliant tie pairing that have been undefeated for so long now actually start favourites. Absolutely fantastic shots from our drones. But let's get the action underway. We can talk more about it as we continue. Kevin Rodrigo from the United States is our referee. There are, of course, two referees. The other one will be with uh, control of backing up the decisions made and keeping the score and things like that as well. But let's welcome on our competitors then, the Hungarian pair of Gabriela Cotta and Christina Atch. You can see the social media pages for them on their Instagram profiles. And you get a chance to get involved as well with our MVP of the day. But here are the all-conquering Super Warrior Juta Tip, Wang Ham Chan and Kunta Tong, if you prefer, who can beat them? 29 and 26-year-olds have been just absolutely irresistible since bursting on the, to the scene just a little over a year ago. We'll have 60 seconds of warm-up before we get the show underway. It's best of three sets. Welcome along, especially to any new viewers of Tech Ball. Don't be afraid. We'll explain the rules and all the nuances as we continue. But this team, they're just remarkable. 29 successive wins, and they've won every event they've ent ever entered in Asia as well. Four of them in 2023. But Action Cotter are also a force to be reckoned with. Two mixed and one women's doubles title for Cotter. And three mixed for her partner, we saw a few moments ago, Christina Atch. Relatively straightforward path to the final. But for Subawadi and Jutatip, they have just taken everything and all comers. Ever polite, wonderful to talk to and deal with. And they are becoming stars in the world of tech ball and national stars in Thailand as well. Deep into the evening here in Beer City, the festival that's held every year. And this has been one of the centerpieces. Big crowds here. Tremendous atmosphere. So Kevin Rodrigo, the referee, Asks the Thai team to get us underway on the left view screen in the purple. Super Wadi with the serve. There are four serves in batches. And there's the first overhead. And it's a winning overhead. Super Wadi. Wang Ham Chan. She will be trying that many, many more times yet. And get ready for the men as well, because they're, if anything, even more spectacular and athletic at times. So a bit like tennis, you do get two opportunities to serve. 
but you can't afford to hit the net, the first specs net. And you get up to three touches, but both players have to touch the ball before it's returned to the opponents. Second serve is good. So a couple of touches from the first player, then a big hit, and it's equally as effective for the Hungarian team. Didn't need to leave the ground. Lovely hit from Gabriela Cotta. 26-year-old who plays with the Toksanyi Academy. In fact, both these girls do. Christina Ratch has been pretty good in singles, but has turned her sights more towards the mixed doubles with Cotter since they teamed up. Christina Ratch, three mixed doubles titles last year. Oh, the third serve from Subawadi, but an opportunity. Oh, a mix up between them. Well, a bit of a divorce going on there between the Hungarian players. And had they, after they both touched it once, it meant that either could take the third touch. Don't have to make three touches. In singles, you can just do one touch. Touch the net, but it will not be a repeat of the first serve, unlike in tennis. Still up. Another chance, though. Second serve for the tie player. Oh, and she's caught the end of the table. So this is an edge ball, which is basically a neutral point. Replay it. Had it been a side ball, which we may see a little later, if it's a side but not the edge, then that's a foul. But this, you get another chance. Edge ball. We also have video replays. VR if needed. And a good hit again. It's a winner for Cotter. Brings them back to 2-2 after the first four serves of this match. So I hope you're getting the idea by now. Best of three sets, the first to two sets wins. Still lost one of the ball and finally got another ball in. First to 12 wins the set. Doesn't matter if it gets to 11 all, we will have a deciding point. But in the third set, we will need a gap of two to crown the champions if we get that far. Oh, that's hit the net again. It's a captain's fold, as it's known as. And Christina Atch under a bit of pressure. A few nerves here. Always is in a final of a World Series event. Here in Qingdao, China. Oh, and another double fault. You don't want to see anyone do this. And now there is going to be big pressure. Cotter gives a consoling touch. Can't afford to give easy points away like this to the all-conquering Thai team. Super Wadi makes the mistake. Hits the net, not the table. Well, Chabanyik and Balash Katz, they're mixed doubles partners. But they came a cropper. And so too did those two in the men's doubles to many people's surprise. Hungary were the preeminent nation in tech ball at all events. Good defence there. But is it over halfway? It is. Cotter, even if she'd made a touch there, knew that she would have fouled. The last touch has to be on your half of the table behind the line that you'll see on the floor. The red line right in the middle indicating the halfway line. You have to make contact with the ball for your final touch of up to three behind that line. So you can go beyond it, then head it back to your partner. Oh, she made it. Edge. Will they appeal this? They can go for a ruling if they want. Christina Hatch thought it was good. No challenge. You only get one challenge, so you have to use it wisely. We can see it. Shutter tip goes a little long. Yeah, the edge ball means you replay the rally. Or if it's a serve, and well, that's not an edge ball. It landed on the surface flush, and so it is a point to the Hungarian team in the green. Cotter and Atch fighting their way back after losing their way a little with those double faults. Well, that's made it awkward. A lot of distance there. Still difficult and not 
able to get it over Cotter. A little bit of disarray between the two. But take away those two double faults and in the open points, they're not doing too badly. Slight advantage on serve with the women's game, but more so in the men's. A little bit more conservative on the second serve naturally. But still the round kick. Oh, she's gone long. So due to tip gives the point back here. Much needed. Hungarians have already taken two of the four points on offer in this batch of serves. Here's the last one of the four. And due to tip also showing a few early signs of nerves here. Very united Thai team. Them as a tech ball nation until just over a year ago, it was maybe a year and a half ago at Dubai. I remember people being amazed by their athleticism. So, 2 2 on that set of four is good enough for the ties to retain the lead. Wong Ham Chan and Kutatong leading 7 5. Oh, it's a good serve and took Sibawadi by surprise. And even though she got the second touch, couldn't get the third on her own. Well, let's take another look at this really good hit. Yeah, just a bit too much spin on that. Sliced the serve with a foot a little. But she's the one who can win a few on serve. Has improved quite remarkably in the last year or so, but a little bit too ambitious with the second serve there. Already four double faults in this match. Three from the Hungarian team, and they need to cut out the errors here. Far from a clean first set here. Cotter, 26-year-old. And they've got another point. One more serve to come. Can she tie it up? In 2023 in women's doubles, she won 42 and lost eight. Definitely not an edge. Superwadi held her hands up, thinking it was going to be, and then pleading. Got her too long this time. Well, she's had two service winners, and one she's just given away a double fault. Needs to be a little more cautious with this serve now. Oh, is it? No, didn't touch. Well, they know that if they leave it short on the table, it's meat and drink to the ties, but too many double faults now. Four from the Hungarian team. Look at the score. Have you taken those four away? And Chava Banyak on the left of your picture there, one of the greatest ever exponents of tech ball. He's just been a magician since the inception of the sport. Hoping to become a doctor, I think Chava is telling me. Studying alongside tech ball. Long way to come for this event. And costly too, especially if you don't reach the final and get the winner's checks. Well, mistakes here from the Hungarian team are letting the ties edge towards this set. Really shouldn't be missing that, and she knows it. Try to force down on the ball. So a three-point gap now in favour of the ties. You need just two for the first set here. It's a good first serve. And Cotter again, caught in two minds there. Wanted to make sure that she didn't foul by going over the halfway line. And it leaves a host of set points here. Super Waddy trying to seal the set as she has done so often for her team. Or should I say teams as well because she's also so devastating in the mixed doubles with Pak Bong Dejaun. Oh, brilliant. Too hot to handle. Christina Atch couldn't control it. And the first set goes to Thailand by 12 points to seven. They're at it again. The undefeatable Suvawadi Wang Ham Chan and Jutsip Kuntatong. 12 points to seven. Well, in truth, they were nowhere near their best. And I think they will acknowledge that. 
We have had so much rain here in the previous couple of days. It really badly disrupted the build-up. And most of these players have had to play at least once, even twice today before we got to the finals day. Didn't even play the quarterfinals of the men's doubles until today. Well, that was the way the set ended. Bit of the ice massage. But let's have a look at the way that the set went in terms of statistics. Because, as you'll see, the number of double faults proved a real difference between the two sides. Here are the graphics then. Four double faults to one. And the set rather ran away with them. The fourth double fault was committed when it was just 9-7. And the first serve points one, not good for him either, really. Not a great set in terms of what we know that these women are capable of. But it's another one that has gone to Judith Kudatong and Superwadi Wangham Chan. And if you're wondering why, when they're undefeatable, really, they're still only number two seeds, it's because you build up points by playing in all sorts of events across a period of time. And they haven't been present at every event, as I said, only really entering the tech ball scene in an exhibition capacity in Dubai last year. But they were already well versed enough in a local sports of Atakro to switch talents. And they've been concentrating more and more on tech ball since then, the whole Thai team, and they're building some real stars. And as we said, this is the only team that is non-Thai in any of the three finals today. Oh, another double fault right from the off. Christina Atch had problems. And again, both girls served two in the first set. And that's now the third for Atch. Standing room only in Qingdao for the finals day of the World Series. There's a big hit. It's too big, is it? Yes, Christina Atch couldn't get the second touch to Gabriella Cotter. Well, we saw Subawadi earlier, but this time it was diminutive Juta Tip who threw herself high into the night sky in China and delivered a telling blow. Spectacular stuff. So 0-2 and Atch goes long again. Serving not her strongest point, but the idea to keep it low and get it towards the end of the table. So there's little chance to work. Good spin on that. But here's Subwadi again. She misses that one, though. Sorry, due to tip. Missed that one. They're always smiling, aren't they? If, if they were losing by a set and 7-1, I think they'd still be smiling. Well, that was an important point. Big miss for the Thai team. Maybe some confidence for Christina Atch. Still has a chance to escape with two and two on her serve. It's the last of her four at the start of the second. Good second serve. That was a little testing, but it's going to be set up for another big hit. Good defense. One, two. Long distance to cover. Well done with the chest. Nicely done, but it'll come back with interest. And that one, there's no stopping. It's out of the playing arena. It's... Super Wadi again. Previously, it was Juta Tip who hit it. This time, it was Super Wadi Wang Ham Chan. So a 3-1 advantage. Yeah, just flick the net there. Or well, 29 successive wins after their recent success in Madrid, where they beat Cotter and Atch. But a second double fault from the Thai team today means the gap is reduced by one. Oh, nearly a winning serve. So difficult to get underneath that. Yeah, May, last time these two sides met, and it was... Uh, very one-sided then. 12-4, 12-4 in the final of the women's doubles. Cotter and Atch just didn't get their act together. They're looking a better fight today. And more mistakes are coming from the Thai team. I'm not seeing them make this many. And they will be disappointed with this. 
That's two in this service rack and three in the match so far. Back level at 3-3. Super Waddy struggling for serve here like she's never done before. And also won the World Championships in Bangkok on home territory, beating another Hungarian pair, Pecci and Vicek. Again in straight sets. Cotter needs to get it back from there. Does well with the knee. They're still in the rally, but it'll be set up on a miss. Super Waddy hits the net. And the Hungarian team goes in front for the first time in the match. Well, now there's pressure. 0-3 on serve. Cotter. Nice. She's done it again. Was she over halfway? No signal given. Apologizes for inadvertently hitting her opponent. What a good defense that was. And a good hit from Cotter. And that's what it means to her. And now they have belief. They've clean swept the tie serve to lead 5-3. Now, no mistakes for Cotter. Can't undo her good work. Oh, looked a good serve, but she herself called net, I think. So, second serve. Kevin Rodrigo. Oh, oh well, wow. Oh, referee. And now, will she regret her honesty? Six double fault. From the Hungarian team, but it's a great serve. But still, they get it back. That's brilliant. Good defence. Cotter tees it up. Nice chest over. Now an opportunity again. Can't use her foot to smash. Had to use her knee, and the Hungarians get in between again. Couldn't sort out their communication. They were on top in that point and could have gone 6-4 up. So 5-5. Five, five. Oh, got that all wrong. Looked at her boot straight away then. Gabriella Cotter. A couple of years older than her partner. You can see the positioning there. Actually way back, but had it dead right. Cotter helps it on nicely. Difficult here. Only a defensive header. Could finish it now. Needs a sniper head. It's a short one though. Didn't hit the table twice. Atch goes back to try to defend. She might still. Goodness me. Oh, how unlucky. Terrific defence and a great effort. But again, they built a winning position there. But somehow the tie stayed in the rally. And Judah Tip and Superwadi came away with the point. Well, this was almost superhuman return. Cotter couldn't quite get there. One of the things you may have noticed during the commentary there is that I said she can't hit it again, has to use her head. And that's because there, the head's been used by Superwadi. So if they do get this back, she can't use her head this time. She can use her feet, uses her knee instead, keeps the rally going. Now Cotter with the header. Could set it up for a big hit now. She's missed it. Superwadi hits the net. 6-6. Six, six. Well, still plenty of mistakes, but this is proving a better set for techers around the world. And that's what we'll call you. You're tuning in, you're a techer. You don't escape. The world's fastest growing sport in Qingdao on the coast of the Yellow Sea. Really fantastic city, founded only in 1891. Perhaps best known for its brewery. Not surprisingly, we're in Beer City here for this Tech Ball World Series event. Cotter, what a shot that is. Oh, unlucky. Hits the edge. You look at the way that she was facing to play that shot. The technique needed here. And just skimmed it in. You can see uh, just a slightly unnatural bounce off the table. I hope the phones are fully charged. See a couple of leads in there. I'll need batteries if they're filming all the sets in all the finals. This is the first of three finals in the World Series event in Qingdao. Due to tip. Oh. So still 6-6. Six, six. First of the four. 
for due to tip. Oh, she'll be disappointed with that. You can tell the reaction from Christina Arch. Yeah, you can deal with losing those spectacular points, but when you don't get the ball back over from a position like that, it hurts that little bit deeper due to tip. Her height she manages to make it used to her advantage, but Cotter this time giving the ties a bit of their own medicine with the smash. Well, it might look quite easy, but you get out there and try to play and you'll see how difficult it is to play with this precision. The spin imparted by the way the boot moves in relation to the ball. Just touch the net again. So two left in this set of four. She is the smallest player on the tour, I think, due to tip Kuntertong. Oh, it's too bad for a match, I'm afraid. Didn't give Cotter a chance there to get it back to her or set herself up. It was much too high and too fiercely hit. First needs to be cushioning. So they're edging ahead again. If they win this set, they win the match, remember. Four points from yet another World Series title. Hungarians looking for revenge after being beaten in the final in Madrid. Seem to be finding their feet. Cotter. Oh, that's two touches. That's three, surely. Yeah. Doesn't matter whether it's an inadvertent deflection. There were two touches straight away from the first Thai player there, Super Wadi. As soon as that second touch hit her, she had to move out of the way and there was no hope that her partner would get there. Well, oh, she's... Look at that. Points fluctuating here. It's tight throughout. Never be more than two points between them in this set. And they weren't for much of the first set. But there's a point that's too good. Judah Tip flying through the air and into the Qingdao night sky to smash home the winner. But it only counts one point. And it's not a disaster for the Hungarian team. Christina Hatch went running. But Judith Hip was off celebrating. Need to get a 2-2 at least on this set of four. That took them by surprise. Oh, she's still got a shot in somehow. Great defence for match. Now she needs to go with the chest or head. Done well, but it'll be set up here for Super 1E. No reply. 10-8. What a time to take a two-point lead again and move two points from the title in Qingdao. Yeah, really good rally. Great defending. But when you are resorting to a chest or not an aggressive header on your final touch at this level, it just sets up for a huge return and you're kind of relying on an error from your opponents. Still a chance. Still got two serves to go, but can Super Wadi... Get this one, it's Judah Tip actually. Judah Tip has done it again. Judah Tip Kunda Tong takes three points in a row from this service batch. And they move to 11 8 and match points for the team from Thailand. Well, no timeout being called. Thought there might have been. It's now or never. They need four points in a row here, the ties otherwise. Of the Hungarians, otherwise the Thais take the title. Trying to stay in it here. Atch does well, but for how long? It's set up for Super 1E. Smashes the winner and wins yet another title. The unstoppable force in women's tech ball. Extend their successive wins into the 30s. Super 1E, Wang Ham Chan and Yuta Tip, Kudatong have done it again and again in straight sets. And they just have this knack of winning those all-important points, don't they? The first set was pretty close. The second, nip and tuck all the way, but they came away at the vital point. And this was the point that won them the point, the set, and the match in style. She knew it. Super Wadi Wang Kham Chan with the last hit.
So the final result, 12-7, 12-8 in favour of the Thai team. Absolutely fantastic performance again. And so often we're getting used to this, aren't we? So overall, 24 points to 15. It looks pretty one-sided. Wasn't really too many faults, though. Double faults, 6-3, to three, made a huge difference. Winners 6-2, to two, you'd expect, but the unforced errors from the Hungarian team at 7, too high. So deserved winners yet again. And who will come to the fore to challenge them? Because at the moment, the answer is nobody. They're in a league of their own. Number two seeds, but not for much longer, surely, because... They are winning simply everything. Last title was in Madrid. The last time they competed. Also being champion last year here in Qingdao. And also in Dubai, Koh Samui and World Championships in Bangkok. Secretary General of FITEC then. will present the trophies and the medals for the... Finalists starting with the super medal, the silver medals. And Mr. Vido will present his fellow Hungarians with the silvers, trying to raise a smile, but disappointment again. And I think even more so because they know that they made too many mistakes and they were well in that match. But there is no denying. The winners today and there is no denying which is the best team in women's doubles in tech ball right now so what he wong ham chan and judah tip kundatong number two seeds here this week but they are the best in the world they are world champions and they don't know how to lose To the tip from Lampoon near Chiang Mai. Women's tech ball team. Wang Kam Chan also from Northeast Thailand. Former boxer, the woman on the left. MBA student now, both of them. And they are the champions. Tech ball World Series, Qingdao 2024. Well, still plenty more action to come here in Qingdao. Two more finals to bring you. And more action in the future as well. But first of all, let's uh, just review the final that we've just had. The women's doubles, the first of the three events. And it went to Thailand.